parents were told that their children should bring two pens for their long quiz tomorrow. We are going to meet them for dinner at their house. I hope they're going to be all right. Now, are these sentences correct using these words there, there, and there? Pag-aaralin natin yan. Let's study these words and how to properly use these words in a sentence. So if this is your first time to visit my channel, please click the like button below and hit subscribe for more videos and don't forget to ring the notification bell for more video updates. So hello everyone! Today I want to talk about issues and usage of um, some words in English. These are commonly misused words. There, there, and there. Confusing, right? It's really confusing just by hearing the sound absolutely is. That's why I'm here to give clarification with the distinction of these three. Number one, we have there. Okay. Number one, we have there. The T-H-E-R-E. -E. Always remember that this one is all about location. There, over there, right there. This answered um, by the W question, where? Where did you put my keys? Over there. Okay, number two, there. T-H-E-I-R. This is a possessive determiner. This word tells that something belongs to a day. For a day. Who does it belong to? Their grandmom. Their parents. Okay, number three, they are. There. Or they are. There. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R and then E. Okay, there is a contraction of they are. Contraction of they are. Pina iksi lama. Anything that you say they are, you can stick them together and form in shortcut there. Okay? They definitely differ from meanings and so as spellings. Now, how do you use there, there, and there? When to use there, T-H-E-I-R. When to use there, T-H-E-R-E. And when to use there, con there, the contraction of they are. So if you're having a hard time trying to determine which one to use, let's take a look onto it and learn to dig more. Let's learn to dig more. Okay. There act as a reminder that the term indicates possession. O pag-aari. Pag-aari nila. There is the possessive case of the pronoun they. So there is a pronoun. Example. Example number one. The Velasquez kids went to visit their grandparents. Whose grandparents? The Velasquez kids. So we use the possessive pronoun there. Kasi pag-aari nila. Sa kanila. Lolo at lola nila. Their grandparents. Number two, the students open their books during discussions. Who owns the books? Okay, the students. We use possessive pronoun there kasi sa kanila yung book. Possession, pag-aari ng mga estudyante. Kuha? Gets nyo? There is generally plural. When we say plural, ito ay pangkalahatan. Marami. We use there before a noun. Before a noun. Their car. Oh, saan yung noun? Yung car. There is a pronoun. Their car is a brand new. Their car is a brand new. Yung sasakyan nila. Nila. Their car. Okay. Their house is big. Their house is big. So let's proceed to there with the T-H-E-R-E. -E. So there has the word here in it. Here. There, here, it. There has the word here in it. Since the opposite of there is here. There and here. There and here. Okay? There is an adverb that means in that place or that place. There is an adverb that means in that place or at that place. In this sense, there is essentially the opposite of here. Okay, the opposite of here. Example, there is a cute cat in our house. There. There is a cute cat in our house. 
Number two example. There is a book on the table. There is a book on the table. There can be paired with verbs such as will, where, was, is, and are. Okay. There will, there were, there was, there is, there are. There is also known as there is also known as an adverb of place which answers the question where it's an action where an action is taking place okay. example number one where did you put my keys they are over there over there where is the library the library is over there over there not here okay next they are there t-h-e-y apostrophe r-n-e has an apostrophe they are there has an apostrophe which means it's a product of two words there is a product of two words they are so definitely they are there is a contraction of they are if you can substitute they are into your sentence and retain the meaning then they are the correct homophone to use example they're waiting for you try not it Pag iwala niyo yung word na they are, na there. Using parin yung sentence na ginamit. They're waiting for you or they are waiting for you. Okay, so they are. They're waiting for you or they are waiting for you. Pag okay either there and they are, iyon ang tamang word na gamitin. Okay, what if yung there? There, T-H-E-I-R. Dito kasi nagkakapalit yung there T H E I R at there. T H E Y for stroke R A E. Okay, example. Blank attitudes are no good. Blank attitudes are no good. They're, they're bow with an T H E I R or they're na T H E Y for stroke and then R E. Tama yung tunog sa dalawa. Pero try natin kung pede yung there na hiwalay. They are attitudes are no good. Tama ba? They are attitudes are no good. Okay. Male. So the correct word to use is there. Not T H E I R. Their attitudes are no good. So always remember that there is a contraction of the words they and are. So always remember that there is a contraction of the words they and are. Example, they're having a pool party or they are having a pool party. Another, another, they're having a practice for the tournament or they're having a practice for the tournament. They are having a practice for the tournament or they're having a practice for the tournament. Okay, let's use there before an adjective. They're happy. They are happy. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. They are adorable. They are adorable. Or they are adorable. Now use they are before a verb before a verb plus ing. They're working. They are working. They're walking. They're walking. Or they are walking. They are running. Or they are running. Let's try your knowledge about these words there, there, and there. Um, read the sentences carefully. Choose the proper form of the words there, there, and there. To complete each sentence. Number one. Do you think we can borrow blank car? Do you think we can borrow blank car? What's the answer? Number two. How many students are blanked waiting in line? How many students are blanked waiting in line? Number three. The children miss blank father. The children miss blank father number four what are they doing 
blank writing a poem. What are they doing? Blank writing a poem. Number five. I have new classmates, but I don't know blank names. I have new classmates, but I don't know blank names. Number six. Blank looking for blank lost cat. Blank looking for blank lost cat. Number seven. I heard blank moving into blank new house. I heard blank moving into blank new house. Number eight. Hawk and dust rode blank bikes to the field. Hawk and dust rode blank bikes to the field. Number nine. Hang my graduation picture blank. Hang my graduation picture blank. Number 10. Blank having party. Blank having party. Okay. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from me. So this is Teacher Leica again who believes that learning is important. To learn from yourself your peers, your community, your friends, your family, and learn with teacher Leica. Thank you for watching.